Dobrovečer, dobrodošli u ovaj jedno Milenko Nedelkovski show u ovaj pekolni letni skopski večer. Kada što pokanev da mi gostovat trojica Luge i so to da kompletiram preko jedna emisija koja snimim tamo na kraju na minatada godina i svega ova koja snimam letoska da go kompletiram ekonomski od tim na vladata na Republika Makedonija, inako tim sozdaden od premijerot Nikola Grujevski, so godini planiran, sobiran, doterovan, koji je zadložen za pribiranje na stranske investicije i donesuvanje na stranske investicije v Republika Makedonija, kompanije, firme i taka natamo, v Greenfield, Brownfield investicije, v ramkite na ekonomskite zoni. Problem od što ovija луѓе кои ќе ви ги представам, оние тројца од минати од пати, овие тројца вечерва, е тој мене ми се здадува личен проблем, а тоа е јас имам една мала фирмичка која се бави со сточарство и овие луѓе донесува толку многу инвестиции што нема невработеност во Македонија и сега веќе човек не може да најде ниту најобичен козар, општ работник, некој со лопата што работи, нема сите работат, веќе во некој Дрекслер Мајери, некој така нато. Така да, да на нас малите приватници во Македонија не создадува големи проблеми, меѓутоа на радост на поголемиот дел од граѓаните на државата кои успеаа да се најдат в работување и максималната квота на невработеност која одеше на 37 38% да падне под 24 и да оди надолу иако јас лично мислам ако земете да барате невработен човек дека е невработеност многу помала од 24 пробајте да најдете на пример во Скопје кувар или пробајте да најдете овие градежни компании да најдат општи работници да кажеме трансмет и така натаму што градат тунели патишти така натаму тоа е неможно да се најде веќе веќе нема луѓе сите сите работат по фирмите низ цела Македонија. Е така овие што се виновни значи за за мојата мака овде ка сакам да ги представам во нивно најдобро светло. Добро вечер за Џери Наумов, за Бил Павлевски и за Горан Мицковски. Малку ве искарав на почеток, меѓутоа сега што што да правам. А целта ми е вие сте работите во владата, сте активни, патувате многу, донесувате странски инвестиции, тие се реализираат. Меѓутоа, македонската јавност многу малку знае за вас. Значи, некако сте као не сте зад скриени, него како дали постојат луѓе тоа е. Мислам во смисок и тие ако постојат какви се. И целта на оваа емисија да да ве представам да да, да се запознае македонската јавност со, со вас бидејќи сте вие во основа а, службеници на нас граѓаните за да донесете едно една посигурна сегашност подобра иднина и така натаму. па затоа ќе ќе на почетокот поединачно еден по еден ќе одам ќе ме интересира а, вашиот бекграунд, вашата биографија. Ето Джери good evening. Добро Добро вечер. Добро вечер. Uh, uh, so Jerry, ќе пробаме да збориме англиски, он многу, он него му е како негов. Uh-huh. Мене ми е така, ќе ме... Sorry because my English no, is not no. that well. Uh, the question is the same as uh, question to Bill. Uh, where are you coming from? Where are your origins here in, yeah. in Macedonia? And uh, how was, what was the pet, your pet? To, to 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 Western world, actually. To well, since I'm the oldest guy here, it's probably a long story. But <laughs> <laughs> so we have time till the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my family is from a village outside of Bitola, Gjavoto. Gjavoto. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was the first born in the f- uh, in America, in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Mm-hmm. In Columbus, Ohio is a very nice. Uh, when met- they went to America. 1940. 1940. Yes. First, my grandfather left around 19, uh, 1930. And, uh-huh. and that is be, uh, between two world wars. Actually. Yes. Yes. Uh, he was in the time of recession, actually. Uh, yes. Yes. The Great Depression. Yeah. And uh, he left with a vision to just go for 10 years with his brothers 
work in the factory, make money, and come back and buy land in the village. Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, Everybody's idea. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and uh, things were, uh, as you know, very difficult. And so the rest of uh, my family came. My father did not see his father until he was 12 years old. Because when uh, my grandfather left, my baba was pregnant with yeah. my father. So this is the story. There's a very nice community, Macedonian community in Columbus. They're from all the same villages. Gyavoto, Sapari, Serpsi, all the villages Sapari, uh -huh. from Bitola to uh, Resen in Prespa, this area. So uh, at 17, I left this very close neighborhood. And I should say also that we had a, a, a large family restaurant and 20 relatives worked at this. All of my cousins, aunts, uncles, everyone, we were a very close family. We lived in one house, then two houses, three houses, and then four houses. So at 17, I left to play football. I went to California. F American football? Yes. What yes. position? Defensive back. <laughs> so, uh, I was one of the smaller defense, guys. Defense. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I left this um, family, I left this community, and where I went in California and later ended up in Chicago was virtually no interaction with Macedonians except when I would come back for weddings and funerals. Uh -huh. um, so, w w virtually the whole family from Java to went in, yes. in the United States? Yes. And mostly to, first to Gary, Indiana. Uh, and then Columbus, Ohio. And that, yeah, okay. So, and uh, after? So, um, I earned a scholarship uh, American for American football, and I decided uh, to be a marketing uh, major in the marketing and management. But my dream was just to come back to Ohio and run the family restaurant. I really wasn't taking uh, college so serious other than to play sports and come back and run the restaurant. But things changed in life and um, I ended up after I graduated in uh, Chicago and spent uh, um, the last 30 years of my life working in, a in my career in Chicago. And you work for somebody else or you have your own company? Both. I first started uh, out of the university working for um, a very large financial and insurance company, um, actually two of them, in sales and marketing. And at 29 years old, I was running a very large office. They're one of their largest offices for this international company, um, Lincoln National Life, and in, in the role of sales and marketing and management. Um, after 10 years working for big companies, remember my mind was always, I want to be in my own business, because that's how we were raised. You should have your own business. Be your own boss. And, yes, and be independent. So. Um, uh, after that, I decided to work at, uh, for the, one of the largest consulting firms, brokerage consulting firms in Chicago, to see the other side of the business, uh, representing the client instead of the insurance markets. <coughs> I did that for three years. They promised me a partnership if I did a certain amount of business, and then I did a, that amount of business, and the partnership wasn't there, so I decided to start my own business in 19, uh, 1993. And I started the, the, the Numoff Group in uh, 1993, and that was my business until the Prime Minister called me three years Numoff ago. Numoff Group? Yes. And yeah. um, how can you explain that company? Um, that, that, that powerful, big, small, it was medium? A, it was a small company, but mm -hmm. I had very uh, large and excellent uh, customers. So my, we provided risk management consulting for all types of companies, manufacturers, law firms, international firms, um, mostly headquartered out of Chicago, but also out of New York and Denver and other cities as well. Thank you very much. Isega uh, Dodram. Jerry, uh, of course you have United States citizenship. It's, it's normal, huh? Yes. You don't have any others. No, no, <laughs> Macedonian and, a, and okay, American. Okay, and the United yeah. States, yeah. And um, tell me, um, when and how, why you decided to, to come back to Macedonia and to well, work for the government, it's for a, us, yes. the people. Yes. We, uh, the people. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, a little more than three years ago, on a Friday, I was stuck in miserable traffic in Chicago. Black Friday. Not it's Black Friday, not, but yeah, okay. every Friday was like <laughs> Every Friday was... But the, the, uh, it was a very long day. I was stuck in traffic, and I get this phone call from the then Ambassador Yoleski in mm -hmm. Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. <clears throat> and said that the Prime Minister wanted to talk to me about the possibilities or potential to be Minister for Foreign Investments. 
Of course. But before before that, uh, how uh, how did you know, for example, Yolevsky, or did you met uh, okay. Gruevsky before that? Yes. In any good, occasion. Good question. I have um, start the last uh, few years before that. I started getting involved in. Uh, in, organ in uh, two, um, several organizations in the diaspora, but one was I was invited to be on the board of directors of Macedonia 2025. Uh -huh. Okay, with, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and at that time, um, uh, Ambassador Yoleski was also um, on the board. And um, through that, uh, on a social basis, um, at various uh, conferences and meetings, I got to know him on a social basis. Yeah. Uh, that, and um, that's how uh, I met the ambassador. But not the Prime Minister? No, no. I actually, actually, I did meet him. He came to Chicago. I can't remember what year it was. Around, I think might have been around 2010. He had a business forum and I, I met him briefly. But that's the only conversation, no real conversation. Okay, and Yolevsky called you in your, during your stuck in the car yes. in Chicago, you know, in traffic? Yes, in typical bad uh, traffic. Friday. And um, I was quite shocked because um, I, at first, I didn't know what he was talking about. I said, you know, I have a family, I have my business here, and this means to go to Macedonia, and I was- And I still don't have my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. there's, there's plenty of restaurants here, though. Uh, but I was, um, I was uh, it was very, um, it, it was very shocking. On one hand, I was uh, very uh, excited uh, uh, about this. I, I guess it's more like an, I'm an entrepreneur, it's more like an adventure. Uh, on the other hand, I had some concerns about, you know, how to do this and can I do this and how would I do this. So um, we, did, we talked uh, for uh, two or three weeks and finally uh, the Prime Minister called me and said, do you have any more questions? And I said, no, I think you've answered all of the questions. And he said, do you want to join our team? And I said, yes, without asking anyone or telling anyone and that's how it happened. That was three years ago? That was, yes, three years. And you came to Skopje and after that? Yes, came to Skopje, moved my family, everything. And your business is over there? I sold my business. Um, I, I asked for a few weeks to go back. I sold my business to my, uh, an employee I had for 25 years. I sold the business, uh, made all my plans, it was more like three or four weeks, finished everything and came back. And you bring your family here? Well, first I had two sons already here who studied at American College and they had been working here for six years with, with the Canadian company. In Macedonia? In Macedonia, in Skopje. And I left my, uh, my wife and uh, daughters because my oldest daughter had one more year of university. How many kids? You're like Vladko Djorcev. <laughs> yes, yes, six. <laughs> okay, six, okay. Six. You are m much better than that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. But so, uh, one wife. The one wife, one wife, 33 years, one wife. Okay. But uh, so That's an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife stayed behind with my daughters because she had one more year of university and I didn't want to leave her by herself. Okay. They came one year later after the first year. Um, another and you move in Skopje or in Skopje, Bito? Skopje, Skopje. Okay. My oldest son, believe it or not, is married uh, three weeks ago to a nice girl from Bitola. So uh, it's very strange how things are coming full circle in my yeah, life. Yeah. <laughs> And um, you, you came and you start here? Yes. And um, did you have any advices from your friends from the United well, States or when, from here about your when I, uh, new start? When, <laughs> I, when I told my uh, relatives uh, from in, 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 in the States who are from Macedonia, they said they couldn't believe me. They said, are you crazy? Were you crazy? What are you doing? And, uh, a couple of them said, why you? I'm smarter than you. <laughs> so it was, uh, I can be part of my ministry. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so um, uh, I think everyone was quite surprised. Uh -huh. and, um, but, but that's how it happened. Okay, thank you very much for thank now. You. And Jerry, what, what is your geographical orientation? In the, in the United States, Illinois, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Texas, North and South Carolina. I have uh, almost most of Canada. Uh, in Turkey, I have Istanbul, Turkey. Izmir, Bursa, Aydin, Manisa. I have Italy south of Milano and Israel. South of and, Milano. And Israel and India, most of India. South of Milano is almost all Italy. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Milan was very industrial, and oh. that's where everyone was concentrated, and some of the, my colleagues were there before me, so mm -hmm. I said I'll take everything south. Oh. From Milan, okay. From Milan. And India? India, Ho yeah, most of India, b but not Chennai and Mumbai, almost everything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the, that is, the, the, that's your part? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. And how, how does it go? What are you doing? Calling some CEO, hello, yes. Jerry here. So uh, in my team, um, I've assigned uh, uh, my team to uh, different regions. And uh, we're focused on, we plan uh, road trips. And in advance, we're calling companies, emailing companies. We've used, used a uh, LinkedIn campaign, uh, contacting executives of certain industries and certain cities that we're focused on. Um, and then go on these road trips to uh, the various uh, countries. Um, sometimes we coordinate with the um, local economic promoters uh, or uh, ambassadors, depending on the situation. Okay, but for example, in Izmir or in India, it doesn't matter, in, um, in, Izmir. in uh, Perugia, for example. Yes. There are 20 companies different. And how do you decide where, where to go and how? When, did, when uh, do you realize that this company is probably in interesting in Macedonia? Okay. How, how, you, so, how is your perception? How, how are you? My, my focus, Malinko, my focus has been, um, depending on the country, is uh, either uh, um, manufacturers for export mm -hmm. or um, outsourcing some type of professional service and technology like IT and call centers, engineering, et cetera. So uh, depending on the, the region, for example, if I go to Izmir, I would focus on manufacturers. They don't have much in the uh, professional oh, services. And uh, we would try to um, find the time that we could be, I could be a speaker at a business forum, a chamber of commerce, um, some uh, event like that where I can meet a lot of businessmen. But at the same time, we, we try to arrange several days of uh, very high level meetings with executives of those types of companies. I think the mission for all of us, if we can get the right company to come visit Macedonia, it, it's a big advantage to, to realizing a project. That is actually the first step. The first step. We, ha we, we have to get them here because, uh, in, especially in the United States, they, they don't know Anything. anything about Macedonia, even CEOs of many large Fortune 500 companies. So, um, and let alone uh, the very competitive business environment that we've created for investors. So, um, I think for me and probably for my colleagues is to try to get them to come here. If we get them to come here, we really have a, a great chance to um, convince them. To convince them, uh, Jerry. Um, Kada ja gledaš, kako je gledaš tvoja tidnina? Sorry. How do you see? Your future, personally. My future? Uh-huh. Well, people ask me all the time, if something happens in the government or there's some change, are you going back to America? I'm not going back. I'm staying here. Opening a restaurant? I don't know what I'm going to do. No chance. Sorry, sorry about that. No, no, that's no chance because the restaurant business is one of the most difficult businesses. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. But I'm I I staying here. I hope that whatever time that I've been able and honored to provide for the government, that I can say that I brought companies and I brought jobs. It's as simple as that. But you know, my my son is married now. I have two sons other two sons with very serious girlfriends, so I don't think I'm going anywhere. And uh, I you actually- You will be a, gr a grand dad here. Yeah, and, yeah. and I enjoy, dedo, yeah. and I, uh, I, I enjoy it here as well, so, and my family. Um, that is, that's actually about you. You think that you don't need any more changes actually regarding where, where you will live? Yeah? No, no, no. It's enough change. No, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Jerry, uh, the, the question that uh, Milenko has been asking is uh, regarding the current situation uh, in Macedonia. You know, we have a functional uh, government. We have uh, the uh, the parliament in session. We have an interim uh, prime minister, uh, Emil Dimitriev. Milenko still believes that uh, the, the prime minister is uh, Gruevsky. Um, you know, how do you see this uh, whole, whole situation? Is our uh, future secure? Are we in secure hands? Uh, how, how, how does it have an effect on the economy and, okay. and also 
other uh, things. Okay, uh, he, can, he can take my job. <laughs> yes, he's very good. Thank you. Bro. Okay, you know, I have a problem now. Um, <laughs> I have a big problem. Yeah? <laughs> uh, maybe it's wrong, but I, I try to ignore uh, this political situation going on and frankly uh, focus on um, the countries where I think it doesn't bother them so much. Um, it, it, it appears from my context in the United States, because they don't have access to the right media, they don't have the whole story, they're listening to CNN or something, they're, a little more, they're more concerned. But for uh, Italian business owners, this is nothing compared to the Can nonsense the they have to deal with. They tell me that their government is attacking them every day for higher taxes, higher regulations. Spain, same. The union is insane. Um, so they, they, they're fine. So we're focused on those companies. You see what's happening in Turkey. I think a lot of those uh, um, business and, uh, owners in Izmir and Istanbul and Bursa and that region would look, are looking for an opportunity to come to Macedonia. Um, Israel, there's no problems. They have a, a huge, a serious crisis right on their border every day. It's life and death. So um, if I think about what's going on here, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's not my style. So I'm focusing on those those countries and those businesses that need help that we can provide. As for our future, I don't know. It doesn't help us to, for uh, companies to see this, these things on the news, but um, we still have a great environment for business, uh, and I'm, I'm still very positive about the opportunities. Um, thank you very much to everybody. Uh, Jerry, you and me as uh, senior citizens, <laughs> <laughs> we need to go early. <laughs> yes, it's getting it's late. It's too late. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Coming to my show, and it was a big pleasure. Thank I you. must say. We благодарим и на вас да го сработува. We благодарим уште една за учеството. Ви го посакувам успешна кариера. Mir i blagosostava ovo familijeta i mnogo zdravje. Jerry, thank you. Thank you. Also, um, I hope that you will have uh, dozens of uh, nephews. Grandchildren. Grandchildren. Because you have a lot of children. So <laughs> yeah. You need to have at least dozen I hope so. Okay. Uh, uh, so... Сите ние живееме во еден заеднички свет и не знаеме каде не носи светот наламу, натаму и така натаму. Ви благодарам уште една за учеството. Ми беше наистина големо, големо задоволство така и многу пријатно да бидам со вас во оваа час и нешто долга емисија. Ви благодарам. Почитувани гледачи, тоа беа Горан, Бил и Джери во мојата емисија, во мојата желба да ви представам кои луѓе работат и на што работат во рамките на владата, во интерес на граѓаните на Република Македонија. Бидете тука и во следниот петок со нова тема, Миленко Неделковски шоу, во преминот од 10-та во 11-та сезона. Пријатно и со здравје!